Hey, Crazy Billy here today, and today we're gonna be talking about the 2011 MacBook Pro GPU problem. How to fix it in 2019. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the 2011 MacBook Pro. I know what you guys are thinking, Will, it's 2019, why are you worried about a 2011 MacBook Pro? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't had any good reviews on the new MacBooks. I mean, this one had a GPU problem, and if you found this, that's why you're watching this. Between the butterfly keyboard and storage that they give you for the price they give you, and the soldered RAM and everything else, and not to mention the price increase. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and get my $2,000 out of my 15-inch MacBook Pro. As you know, these have a GPU problem, and that's probably why you clicked on this video. And I found a solution. So, last Wednesday, I'm playing on my computer, and all of a sudden, all these green little dots came on, and boof, my screen turned turned off and then it booted back up and it looked like this. I'll show you a little video because I took a little video while I was doing it. And that was all too familiar to me because I paid $300 to get this fixed at the Apple store back in 2013, three years after I, not even three years, it was two and a half years after I had it. Got it fixed, told the Apple people that, hey, I'm gonna get my money back. And sure enough, there was a petition, a website, and all this other stuff, I signed up for all of it, and I got my money back, so $300 saved. It's outdated, you can't really do anything with it, so I was looking for a solution. Apparently, there's two graphics cards on the motherboard, and one is known as being defective, which is the AMD Radeon. There's also another graphics card, an internal graphics card, on the motherboard, which is the Intel HD Graphics 300, which isn't the greatest graphics, but if you're just trying to keep this computer alive, let me show you the solution that I went through. I am not going to physically do this. I am going to walk you through and show you which keys I used and how I used it. So let's go through the steps on a website that I found, which I'm very thankful. I forget the guy's name, but I'm very thankful for this website, and I'm gonna post it down below. And the best way to show my thanks is just have you guys click on it. So I'm gonna show you the steps I took with his website. It wasn't exactly like his website. I'm gonna go through the steps. The first problem that I ran into is that I couldn't see the screen. It kept going into a booting mode, a booting mode, a booting mode. So I'm gonna show you what I did to one, get out of the booting mode, to two, switch over to the other graphics card. All right, so I have it set up with the overhead camera and the computer right here and my iPad set up with the actual instructions. The first thing we're gonna do is reset the SMC on this machine. So you will power down the machine completely. So we'll turn it off completely, shut down. So now that it's powered down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the computer and we're gonna hit shift control option and then the power button and we're gonna hold down on that five seconds and you should see a flash on the screen I didn't see a flash on the screen I just held it for five seconds actually held it for ten seconds I don't think it's gonna hurt anything that's supposed to reset the SMC not really sure what that means but I'm sure someone will comment down below and tell me what it is the next thing we're gonna have to do is reset the NV RAM again I know a little bit what this is going on but not much so this is what worked for me guys like I said no of all, master of nothing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit command option R and then <laughs> this is like a game of twister command so we're gonna hit the option command R P and we'll have them hover over we'll turn it on and you hold them until you hear two chimes so we'll hear bing you know that oh uh, and then that oh uh, and then you let go Again, this computer should be off when you're doing this and then you power it on and go through that step. Now the computer will try to boot up again and it probably, it may go into the screen, it may not. Anyway, regardless, you wanna shut down the computer again. So you'll power off the computer. In my case, I just had to hit the power button, I powered it off. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna power up into single user recovery mode, which in my case, I couldn't do this. Now if you can boot up in recovery mode, which is command RS, go ahead and do that now. So just power it on, wait for the chime, hit command RS and go into recovery mode and go through those steps, which I'm going to go through later on. Right now, I'm going to go into the steps that I had to take because I couldn't get into recovery modes. If you're having this problem, you'll appreciate this. From what I can see, it's called the Crucible to disable the Crucible, which is a security system for Apple. But I couldn't get into that because I couldn't get into the screen because it kept rebooting because the graphics card was damaged. So if you're in this scenario like I was, you can't do that to disable it. So we're going to skip over this step and we'll go back to it. So instead of doing that right now, we're gonna have it shut down and we're gonna hit Command S. I'm actually do this with you guys, so I'm gonna hit the power button and hit Command S.
So in Command S, you're actually getting into text like that. You're actually in the programming area of the computer. So you'll be actually be able to put these codes in it. All right, so what we wanna do now is you wanna enter this code. I'm gonna put it across the bottom here and you wanna enter it in correct. Once you type that code in, it will disable the GPU, the original graphics card. It's gonna disable it. The next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make the, I guess it's gonna be the BIOS or view, view BIOS. We're gonna make it show in boot mode and make it visible so that way you can actually see what's going on in the computer. Apparently this is a big help and it, I, I believe it was a big help for me when I was doing this because you can actually see what's going on. So you're gonna put in this command right here and then you're going to reboot. Now this is where I was having problems. It's the scrutal disable. I wasn't able to do it. So before you reboot this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up onto that list and we're gonna go to the scrutal disable uh, command. So before you hit reboot and you're just gonna put R-E-B-O-O-T, before you hit enter on that, get your hands ready for or the command option R. That's what worked for me. He's putting command option PR for recovery mode. I It didn't work for me. The command option R worked for my machine. So try them both. The only bad thing about this is the graphics are going to be fixed. If you want to, you can actually go into the computer mode and actually see that it is fixed, but it's not permanent. Until we turn off that crucible mode, we can't get in there and actually put the correct commands in there to get it off. So it'll work the first time and then as soon as you reboot it goes right back to crappy graphics cards so let's go ahead and do that we'll boot up and we'll hit the option command r so i'm gonna hit reboot i'm gonna hit enter you hear the sound hit command option and entered recovery mode so there you go just to show you that that's what worked for me recovery mode and i'm actually going to show you this step so that way you can see how to disable crucible and don't be alarmed this is going to be a long process waiting for this it takes usually about eight minutes to get in all right so i apologize for the viewing angle it took about eight minutes give or take. We're going to pick English because that's my language, but you pick your language that you are. And now we're in this mode and what we're going to do is we're going to go up to utilities and you just click on terminal. And in the terminal window, you'll be able to put C S R U T I L space D I S A B L E. And then you tap enter. And I don't need to do this because I already done this, but I just want to show you real quick what you would do in this particular part of the video. So once you hit that, we're gonna disable it. From that screen, I would shut it down. When you reboot, you might have problems with the graphics again, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Command S module, and you might lose your graphics again, so what we're gonna do is you hit the power button, tap that here, and then you hit Command S, and you hold down on that until you see the boot up screen again. Okay, so then you're gonna be in single user mode. Once you're in single user mode again, your graphics might be messed up again, and that's because it's automatically gonna default to the original graphics card. So once again, we're gonna enter the disabling of the graphics card again. So we're gonna disable it by putting in this command again, which is the NVR, and it's a whole bunch of numbers. Put that in, that'll disable the graphics card, and then you're gonna reboot again. As soon as you hear that chime, hit hold down on the command S until you get back into single user mode again. Now that you're back in single user mode once again, you'll see the command and everything, it'll say root. You're gonna type in this right here. I'm gonna place it right on my screen. Partition writable. So basically it's telling you that you're gonna to be able to write these commands. Now that we got the crucible gone, you can write commands and we can move folders, system folders. Be careful with this, you're doing it at your own risk. These are system files and you can screw up something, but at this point, really, what do you have to lose? The next thing you're gonna do is make a kex backup directory. And that is this code right here. I'm gonna put it across the screen and that's what you're gonna do. The next, we're gonna move those files, I guess the graphic card files out of the way. So it's this command right here. And next we're gonna inform the system to update its cache cache by touching it. That's the command, you can see it right there. It's a touch command, we're gonna to touch, we're gonna to touch it. Once that's done, we are going to reboot it. Now your graphics should be fine. They should look back to the way they were. What I would do from here is I would reboot it so we can not have all that text going up. You know, now you'll see text constantly. You don't need to see that. So what I would do is reboot it. When you hear the chime, hold down on that command S, get into single user mode. Once you're in single user mode, put this command right here. That is to turn off the visibility of all the text in the background. So you can go back to your beautiful looking graphics in the beginning of the boot instead of seeing all that 
that text riding through. And another thing that is, I feel, highly important, and it was not mentioned in this article, was to go back into recovery mode and re-enable the Crucible. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you say it. So basically what you want to do is go through that whole process of recovery mode, which was, for me, it was actually option command R, and you go through that eight minutes of waiting for it to reboot. And this is really important. I know it's a pain in the butt. You go through the process, you wait, you pick English, and then you go up to utilities, open up a terminal window, and then put this command in. Once you enter that command, your security is back in place, which is really important. You can't move files around, no malware could get in. From what I read about it, it's really important for malware, so I, I re-enabled it, and everything's been working fine. The only thing that I see with this is that you have a very low-end graphics card now, so eventually it is going to be time for me to update, and like I said, I am not ready to update because Apple's not keeping up with their machines. I mean, they, this was supposed to be a powerhouse, and to be honest with you, I, I don't feel like it was ever a powerhouse, even back in 2000. 2011. So, you know, I'm going through a real big dilemma of what to get, and I think I'm going to go with the MacBook Air because I'm just not seeing the power and getting my money's worth and getting the storage that I want and a keyboard that's reliable, you know, a reliable machine. I'm just not seeing it. So, I don't want to invest large amounts of money like $2,000 on a laptop that is just not working well. And now, I will say there are really great things. I still think they're the better out of all laptops. Laptops, I feel like, are just kind of, I take care of mine, and I just feel like they kind of of crappy like usually on a regular laptop a battery dies within a year and a half this battery is still awesome seven and a half years later so you know you kind of get what you pay for I just wish Apple would go back to the old ways and keeping things a lot better but I don't see it in foreseeable future so if you have any questions put a comment down there let me know I'll try my best to help you whichever way I can I thought this would be a good way to uh, help you guys out I went through the scenario and I was up till like two in the morning I was frantic going oh I gotta buy a new battery MacBook, so I hope this helps somebody that is flipping out right now and recovers their machine. So make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it, guys. Later! I mean, seriously, if I was able to do this, you should be able to do this. I mean, come on. I, 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 I was able to do it. So come on. If, if this crazy nutbag could do it, you could do it. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, Click the like button or subscribe button is even better.